soil type. You can get all types of soil types. It's important for you to also read those ingredients and information as well. So I have a couple of different brands um, and I'm trying to, you know, really understand more and more about our soil type because obviously that's the nutritional growth that is going to be needed and, and supplied to our organisms as we grow our crops. So it's very important that you have um, a true balance in your soil. And when we say balance, we're talking about the nutritional chemicals, okay? So um, what is a part of it? Nitrogen, phosphorus, okay? Um, very important when we think about the growth that's required for these organisms. Plants. Two to one. Okay. And so that was Swiss chard. So I have my six Swiss chard here. Six spinach. Six kale. And um We'll just monitor those, and if these need to be transplanted too, they're fine. But this is preparation for three week items prior to the end of frost. So we're getting prepared um, since it is the first week of March, and we'll be able to get these prepared so that they can go out for April's use. And again, these are the cooler crops. So they'll be able to withstand, maybe do a little bit of covering at night if the temperatures drop, but you'll be all set to start those cool crops.